Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. This is a sequel to the not designs. I'm using the same principles, just showing you where to take variations in Affinity Designer. It is so easy to create variations in vectors. One of the big advantages of working with vectors. Even though these designs look very different, they are based on the same principle using a symbol at the core and playing around with rotation, color and position. I'll quickly run through the steps of the creation process again before I go into the variations. For the base shape in this one I use a rectangle, convert it to curves in order to be able to modify it. In this case I'll give it a nice swirl and then turn it into a symbol. I duplicate the symbol and rotate it. The transform panel allows me to put in simple formulas. In this case, I put in 360 divided by 12 to get 12 shapes, which means I need to duplicate 11 times. The power duplicate repeats the rotation on the next duplicate, so we get 12 shapes. And if I move or scale those shapes, not the symbol but the shapes inside the symbol I can easily create a pattern like this and a gradient to make it more visible and then adjust the ends to match for this style of design we want these symbols to be interwoven rather than just stacked on top so in order to avoid the top one covering all the others, we need intersections. For that, I create four shapes that intersect the base. I copy them to the top, give them a red color, group them and place them inside a symbol. You can see it now overlaps all of them. I turn the group to erase to cut out the erase goes all the way through so I group the erasing part with the shape to limit the erase. I add another shape below to give it a little bit of depth and add some shadow shapes that are child objects in a clipping mask to enhance the depth and the effect of the woven pattern. Grouping the whole design allows me to add additional effects or adjustment layers that will affect the whole design and not each symbol separately. So in this case, I add an outer shadow to the whole design. Here's a similar design, 12 shapes as well. This time it's slightly differently woven. The basic shape is again one rectangle that I deformed cut out two parts where the other shapes overlap, added the shadow shapes inside the clip and it creates this nicely looping knot. Another design, similar approach. In this case, I added a contour inside and cut it out of the base shape to make it look a little bit more intricate. You can also take it to the extreme this is a design with the same pattern duplicated one below the other. It's the identical design with an added HSL adjustment layer to modify the colors. Changing the color gradient of the base symbol to the purplish tones. The compound shape at the base of the symbol has a bevel attached to it to give it this ridgy look. It's an inner bevel with a modified curve creating the highlights and shadows that make up the ridges. I chose a compound at the base of this design to make it easy to edit. It's a line that I curved and then added circles to it combining it all in a compound object. Once a design features this much detail, it will be hard to establish and see the woven pattern. Let me show you the creation process for something like that. In this case, I start with a line, 
curve it, add some decor to it. In this case, it'll have two loops and some additional lines to make it visually interesting. For the main line, I adjust the stroke and the pressure curve, thinning the lines where the loops are and add some smaller lines as additional detail. I group it and keep one duplicate of this group before I go in and convert it to curves. That way I can easily edit the design if I want to later on. I turn it into a symbol and rotate the duplicates and play around with the orientation and the rotation to see what design looks good. And as you can see, it is rather complex. The interwoven pattern here would take a lot of time and probably won't be visible. So I go for a simpler option, cut one half off and have a rather interesting design done in very little time. I strongly advise you to play around with the gradients, try different colors. Quite often it is surprising to see what happens when you change a gradient. These three designs are based on the same principle using one symbol. I like that that's the symbol and then giving it a different gradient and different rotation and positioning, yet it's the same symbol. This design has the same setup in three different sizes and with a color overlay to darken the lower instances. You don't have to limit the designs to abstract shapes. Here I got a twig with some leaves. Again, all three patterns are based on this one symbol. The gradients are different, so is the rotation and the placement. As you can see, it's a lot of fun to play around with. I just replaced the symbols and created the same effect again three different shapes placed on top of each other it's a matter of replacing the symbol to create a brand new design and a very different look if you haven't played around with symbols i strongly recommend doing so it's a lot of fun it's very fast once you have the symbol set up and the rotations in place you can do a lot of things from very intricate very outrageous to very minimalistic in a matter of literally seconds. It is a lot of fun. Give it a go, play around, see what you can come up with. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, like this video, let me know what you want to see on my blog or on this channel, and I'll see you again soon.